All right, so a Venn diagram gives us a visual representation of different number sets. So the way that I want to draw a Venn diagram is the first thing I want to do is I want to write out all of the elements in my set. So I want to write out all the elements in the universe, or think about them being all written out. The next thing that I want to do is I want to draw the appropriate number of circles. So I want to draw my circles, one for each subset. I am not drawing one for the universe. Instead, my universe is represented by the box. So I put a box around my circles. And that's for the universe. Next, I want to put my data into the appropriate spots. So I'm going to add my data into the diagram, filling in the spots as appropriate. Last thing I'm going to do is check. Are all the numbers in the universe in your picture? So let's look at a specific example for this to see what I mean. So let's say that our universe is the set of numbers, so x such that uh, x is an element of natural numbers, 1 is less than x is less than 15. So if I think about all these numbers, that means 1 is not included and 15 is not included but all the other natural numbers in between are. So my universe, if I'm going to write out all of the elements, I'll have 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, you get the picture, 11, 12, 13, 14, and not 15. So now let's say that my subsets are A, which are the multiples of 4, And B are the, let's go with um, multiples, no, let's say factors. Let's go with the factors of 36. All right, so coming over, I'm going to start looking at my values in my universe and think about which of these are multiples of 4. So 4 is definitely a multiple of 4. So I'm going to put an A next to it. So is 8. Whoops. That should be an A. And so is 12. Now if I think of my factors of 36, well, that's 1 times 36. That's going to be 2 times 18. 3 times 12. 4 times 9. Uh, 6 times 6. So now I've got all my factors of 36, and so I can think about drawing my circles. So I'll have a circle for A, I'll have a circle for B, and then I'm going to put a box around it. And that's going to represent my universe. All right, so that's my universe. So now I'm going to add my data. So I can see that 2 is only inside of B, 3 is only inside of B, 4 is inside of A and B. So I'm going to put it in the middle here. 5 is in neither one, so it goes into the universe but not into a subset. 6 is only in B, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So now I'm going to check. So 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. All of my numbers are represented in my diagram.